Isaiah Cozart picks it up and throws it down with authority. UK signee Dante Allen with the behind the back blow by in the sweet touch. Oh! Scott Galley inside to Michael Moreno. Two-handed hammer. Give it to I go. Long two is good. We go. I go. LCA's Kyle Rowe getting right to the rack, doing what he wants to do. Welcome to the award-winning Fox 56 High School Sports Extra, presented by Mr. Rooter Plumbing of Central Kentucky. Thanks for tuning in. He's Brian Milam. I'm Dan Reefer. And tonight we tip off with future Kentucky Wildcat Dante Allen, who's coming off yet another 50-point performance yeah, after bad. dropping 53 Wednesday at Robertson County. Allen has scored 50 or more in four of Pendleton's eight games this season. His average entering tonight, 43.4 per game. The Dante Allen Show making a stop in Cynthiana this evening. And right away, he scores the Wildcats' first points of the game. The step back three is mm. nothing but nylon. Back the other way, Harrison County's Thomas Thompson. Sees a lay to the hoop. Gets the lay in and the foul, but once again, this is all about DA. DA for three. Pulling up from Paris to sink the triple. <laughs> then in transition, how about a step back? Ooh, he hit that mm. from the top of the hill. There's not much you can do. 49 points, 17 rebounds, and he can play a little defense. Sending it into the front row, Pendleton County prevails. 91-55, 49 points, so he didn't get 50. Almost. Hey, let's look at a rematch of last season's 40th district championship in which Clark County beat Paris by three in overtime. Caleb Johnson follows the miss for the putback. Paris, though, down big here. Clark County rolling in the first half. Brennan Canada. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Crow's trying to get one more shot in before the half. Johnson. Oh, he gets it to go. But this was all Clark County night. 67-31. Woodford County 6-0 with great wins over Dunbar. Clark County take it on Tate's Creek tonight. The Commodores Deontay Edmonds nails it in the corner. But watch this. Brandon Cromwell puts his man on the deck. Oh! And the ball in the hole. And you know what? The crowd's going to... They were loving that one. Amari Taylor says, how about a three-pointer? He hit that one from none such, Kentucky. <laughs> in the blink of an eye, though, Cromwell to Justin Alexander Ooh. for two. And, but the Commodores give Woodford their first loss, 56-53. Capital City combatants, Franklin County and Frankfurt at the FD Wilkinson Arena. Looks like Dan Aykroyd in trading places. <laughs> Back and forth matchup, or should I say up and under. Jared Courtney with a sweet reverse layup. Panthers were launching threes. Juan A. Frank will let it fly, and then Frank will drive. The ball will find its way into the hands of Will O'Brien, who shoots it like a coach's kid. How about <laughs> one more? Yeah, one more for good measure. The Flyers' Joe Metter, he ain't scared. But the Panthers, they pounce tonight, 83-65. Lexington Christian Academy's Kyle Rowe. He has been starring for the Eagles since he was an eighth grader. He's on that 10-year plan, it feels like. <laughs> now the senior on the cusp of becoming the school's all-time leading scorer. Yeah, Rowe entering tonight's game just 22 points shy of tying current San Diego Padres manager Andy Green's scoring yeah, record. Yeah, baby. Yeah, Andy Green could hoop too back in the day. That's right. Rode going for the record on the road against Boyle County. Third quarter, Rode with 19 points. The kick out, the three, and right here, Yes, that ties Green's record. At the other end, Boyles, Will Enfield misses. Gets it back himself, hustles, gets in there. But the Reds trailing 35-19 here. So Rowe still looking to break that record. Off the curl. Oh, a little push, oh, oh I like it. There it is, the left-handed shot goes. He is now the all-time leading scorer at LCA. Road finishes with 24 points, 13 rebounds, and the win, 51-39 LCA. Now over to Danville, the 4-0 Admirals hosting the 3-1 Wayne County Cardinal. Love the dunking Cardinal. Yes. That it ought to be state law. <laughs> and look at that. That's just beautiful. First quarter, Wayne County's Aubrey Weaver cuts down the lane. That's the first bucket of the game. Then it's Thomas Spencer on the wing. Drive, hangs for two, cards up four, but back comes the home team off the miss. The shot, St. Martin with the board, with the putback. That cuts into the Wayne County advantage. And Riley Lark gets the ball down low. Banks are open in Titletown. Dan, oh, off the severe angle. Danville in a close one, 60-57. 
Girls hoops tonight. Henry Clay visiting Lafayette. Second quarter. Tiana Sanford with the nice look inside to Macy Golf for the easy two. Golf led all scores with 20. At the other end, Madison Cox. Cox drains the open three for the Lady Devils. She had seven points. And then on the kick out. Lindy DeBills and answers with a three for the Generals. Nine points, ten boards for her. Game was tied at 24th the half, but Henry Clay pulls away, led by 17 from that girl uh, right here. Number 21, Amaya Jenkins. 59-37, Henry Clay. And in the 43rd district, a matchup tonight between Dunbar and LCA, the Bulldogs. Doing a little inside-out action. Riley Fedek open in the corner for three. She had 11 points. And then check out this nice move in the paint by Elise Ellison Coons. Ooh, 20 points and 10 boards for her. Jalen McClanahan led the way for LCA. Three of her 10 points here, but all done bar tonight, 56-27. I shot all three girls games. That's why I'm reading all three highlights. <laughs> Lexington Catholic welcoming Harrison County. I'll just be over here. The Phillies feeding the post. Sydney Morris draws the double team, scores over it. 21 points, 10 boards for Morris. And then against the press. Madison Kellyone drives, stops and pops the mid-range J. She scored 17. Catholic, nice outlet pass here from uh, over to Chloe Treese for the lay-in. The freshman had 15 to lead the way for the Knights, but they fall to the Phillies 43-39.